Good morning, I am Miano Mashi and these are the stories making headlines. The Salaries of Remuneration Commissioners is set to visit seven counties for the ongoing job evaluation exercise. This will be phase four of the county job evaluation exercise and the seven counties to be covered are Kericho, Kakamega, West Pokot, Laikipia, Embu, Tana River and Homer Bay. Chairperson Sarah Serem will be in Kericho and is expected to meet with Governor Paul Chapkwani, while the Homer Bay team will be led by Commissioner Olo Aringo. The Commission has so far carried out job evaluation in 21 counties. The Kenyan Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers has welcomed the Supreme Court not to interfere in the salaries dispute and called on the government to immediately pay teachers. The union's Ambu chairman, Anthony Kenua, says the government should be held in contempt should he not effect it. He stated that teachers will go on strike if the raise is not implemented in this month's salary. The Supreme Court yesterday said it has no jurisdiction over the interlocutory orders issued by the Court of Appeal directing the increment be effected from this month. The National Cohesion and Interrogation Commission is set to hold a three-day capacity building workshop for Nairobi County to enhance the understanding guidelines for the establishment of the peace clubs in educational institutions. The overall goal for these clubs is to promote good relations, harmony and peaceful coexistence among students themselves and between schools and their neighboring communities. The guidelines will serve as a reference document in regard to the establishment and operationalization of peace clubs in all learning institutions in a structured and coherent manner. The inter-parties hearing for the schoolgirl whose semi-nude pictures taken during a police search were circulated online and has sued for 7 million shillings will take place today. Together with Cradle, the Children Foundation, she has also petitioned the High Court to have her possession conviction quashed, arguing that she was not accorded legal representation and so pleaded guilty to the charge without fully understanding it. She further wants the police officers complicit in her search and exposure brought up to criminal charges. She stated that they appeared intent on causing her embarrassment and did not take into consideration the mitigating circumstances leading up to her arrest. And that's your Capital FM TV online news. I'm Yana Mushiri. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.